Okay. So with Grady's, I put his halter already on. Um, he's fine with that now. Uh, it's going to be our second lesson of leading. And I think I'm going to borrow somebody else's lead rope because the lead rope I was using this morning was, had a lot to it. Well, maybe. I'll see. See how I feel when I get over this. So all I have, I put her halter on too. So all I have to do is just snap their halters and um, ask them to make the walk over to the stall. I used his grow with me halter instead of this stiff weanling halter that I used this morning only because it was a little bit big for him. Um, and it's pretty stiff. So I'm going to go ahead and work on it. It's got a like that plastic coat, like that waxy coating on it, which makes it hard. You can't like oil it to soften it. And the grow with me halter is legitimate, like leather, I guess, soft leather, not with a coating on it. So anyway, I think it's just a better halter for this particular moment. Okay, mommy, don't just step on him. Okay, move. Okay, mommy. Mommy. So he normally goes galloping away. I'm going to oh, try to stop that. So he got a little used to being allowed to just kind of gallop off. So let's see if we can't get him to follow the feel that he learned that this morning. So just steady pressure, not a whole lot, just enough for him to have to find an answer to that question. So this right now is what I would call a question. I'm asking him a question, and he's got to figure out the answer. Moving forward, as soon as he moves forward, I'll give back. Now there's the answer. Yeah, good baby. Good. So I'm going to try to guide him this way, see if I can guide him this way to stay on this side of his mommy. Wait, Mom. Wait, 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 wait. I know you're hungry. Wait. Good. So, unfortunately, you know what I'm going to do? No. I was going to get rid of her. I'm going to turn him loose, and I'll just catch him again. I'm going to get rid of her because she complicates it a tiny bit. So let's go ahead and ask her to just go ahead and go in. If he comes with us, we'll, we'll do this another time. He hasn't been coming with us. So that's why I wasn't that concerned that he wouldn't be able to get this lesson, but I got to get her, who she's going to probably call, and I think it's somewhat complicated. But well, let's see if we can't get him back on the line here. Mm -hmm. Good baby. So let's see if we can't ask him to lead. I'm going to tell him the right answer is to come forward. So here's my question. If he comes forward instead of pull back, he'll give me the right answer. So that's the wrong answer. That's the right answer. So then you take the tension off. I'm going to ask him to follow the feel. I'm going to try to get him to go towards his mom by asking him to follow the feel and cross his front feet. Good. I'm going to ask him to follow the feel and come forward. So here's my question. What do you do when you feel that? And his answer should be, come forward. I'm not going to give him, there. Let me go ahead and give you a little bit more light for this. Okay. So, I'm going to ask him to come forward. Here's my question. And his answer should be forward. First time he steps forward, you'll see I'll give back. Now, he's not pulling hard on me yet. I don't want him to get too crazy pulling hard on me because I don't want him to hurt himself. But I'm going to go ahead and encourage through my body language also to say, come here and follow the opportunity to answer the question by coming forward. Good. So he came forward with his head, so I'm going to give it to him for, for thinking to come forward with his head. 
I'm going to ask him to come forward with his feet now. So I might offer him an opportunity to just kind of come off balance. So I'm not pulling on him. I know it looks like I am. Good. Good. But I'm going to have him give to this pressure. So I'm going to ask him to come this way. I'm just going to help him by setting him off balance slightly. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Surrender. <laughs> you surrendered? Huh? You're not trapped. You're not trapped. You can get up. Come on. There you go. Good baby. You're not trapped. You're not trapped. You're not trapped. Okay. Ready? So, a little pressure for forward. The fight, the fight backwards is not the answer. So I'm going to go ahead and just help him by coming up here and keeping that same pressure that I've been helping him with and then offer him a step forward by pushing. Good. Good. Yeah. So I want him to learn it, not to just have it accidental. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to ask him to come with me. And the answer is going to be to come with me instead of away. So let's see if I can help him a little bit with that. Come with me instead of away. Yeah. Come with me. There. Yeah. Some good stuff. Yes, I am. You know, you got a little overexcited and you fall down, but that's okay. You're okay. There's a cushiony fall. Yeah, those flies are annoying. So, come with me. Come with me. What was the answer? What was the answer to that? Remember? What was the answer to that? That's the answer. That's the answer. You tripped. That's okay. Okay, so come with me. Yes. Come with me. Come with me. Yes. So if you can tell by the tension on the line, I give right back. So if he offers to come forward with the right answer, that's not the right answer, but that was, so I give right back. So I'm going to ask him to come towards me. Yes. And I'll give right back. Ask him to come towards me. Yes. And I'll give right back. I'm going to ask him to come towards me. Yes, and I'll give right back. I'm going to ask him to come towards me. I'm going to ask him to come towards me. Yes, and I'll give right back. So I might say, let's go for a little walk. Come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. And we want to get too far away from Mommy, even though he's brave. So we're going to say, come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. Come towards me. Good. Good. Good baby. He's such a good baby. Yes, he is. He's a good baby. we got to learn this because you've got too independent. You like to run around and you can become hard to handle. So I'm going to go ahead and ask him to come towards me. He's ready to go see his mommy now, but... We're going to go ahead and finish this lesson. Good. Good. Ready? You want to go see Mommy now? Good. That's a good baby. Let's go see Mommy now. So, finish this by saying, come towards me. Yes. Come towards me. Yes. Come towards me. Yes. Mommy, stay in here. Good job. What a good baby. What a good baby. What a good baby. I love you so much.